Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with my July book haul. So this video is going to be uh, just kind of one big compilation throughout the month. And I decided to do it this way because I'm actually expecting a few things. I have a pre-order coming towards the end of the month. I have a couple of book exchanges that I participated in this month. Um, through Facebook. So I have, I think, at least two books coming to me from that. And I have some books coming from publishers as well. So I'm going to be getting different things throughout the month. So I just figured whenever I get something, I'll just pop on here and show you what it is. So this will be kind of like all throughout the month. Okay, so this first one that I want to show you here is the second book that I got from my settlement with Barnes & Noble. I had ordered two books with my settlement um, money, and I was waiting for the second one to come in at the end of June, but it finally did. So I decided to pick up Stolen Songbird, and this is written by Danielle L. Jensen. And I've seen this going around booktube a lot, and a lot of people are completely raving about it. I believe this is a trilogy. This is the first one. And this is about trolls. I've never read a book about trolls before. So these trolls were cursed by a witch and they live in a city that's underneath a mountain and they're there for like centuries. And there is a girl that ends up getting kidnapped by the trolls and they are relying on her to break this curse somehow. I'm guessing she probably has some sort of power that can break the curse. So it's kind of following that, but it sounds really cool. And it's literally, I've never read anything like this before, so I'm really excited about it. The second book I got was by surprise. I did not know that uh, the publisher was going to send me this, but I got an ARC for this book recently and I um, ended up getting a finished copy. So I got um, The Light of Paris by Eleanor Brown. So this was sent to me by Putnam. They uh, asked me if I wanted to read it a couple of months ago and I said yes. So uh, they sent me an ARC copy of it which I read from, and then they went ahead and sent me a finished copy too, so I thought that was really cool. Um, so, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's, if you can tell, I hope my camera's picking that up, but it's gold foil, so it plays off the light. Oh, it's so pretty, and the color is gorgeous, and this is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. And now I have an unboxing. So this uh, was just on my porch, actually just now, and so that's why I decided to go ahead and start filming this. Um, but I believe this is one from a book exchange that I did on Facebook. So I kind of peeked just to make sure because I did order something and it's not what I ordered for sure. So let's see what this is. Okay, so I got a book called Puddle Jumping by Amber L. Johnson. I do not know who sent this to me. I think it was it was for a book exchange, I know, but um, there was no gift receipt or anything in there. So whoever sent this, if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, so we did this book exchange thing where you're just supposed to send a book that is um, something that you have re really loved. So I guess whoever sent this really loved this book. Um, from what I'm understanding, this is about um, a young boy named Colton and a young girl named Lily and... Um, they knew each other when they were younger and Colton was always perceived as a little bit different and uh, Lily didn't understand why and then as they get up into high school I believe they kind of cross paths again and they be they form a friendship and it maybe becomes deeper. This is also, uh, it says on the back, endorsed by autistic reality. I have a feeling that maybe Colton is probably autistic and that is what is different about him. So this makes me really, really interested to read this because I have become very much more aware of autism lately. Two of my best friends who live here, both of their young sons are autistic and it's giving me a much more um, understanding of, of it and um, just getting to know people who are autistic and how incredibly wonderful they are. So I'm actually really excited about this and I've never heard of this book, so that's very exciting. And this was also a Goodreads Choice Awards for 2014, so that's pretty cool. So whoever sent me this, thank you very much. Guys, so um, it's a few days later now and I have two more books to show you that came in the mail this week, so I got two more. So this first one was actually a surprise. I did not realize I was gonna be getting this, but it's from the book exchange thing that I participated in on Facebook and it was kind of one of those things where you send it out there and just kind of hope you get some stuff back <laughs> and um, so far I've gotten two books back so that's awesome and I sent out one as well so I've at least made it worth it most definitely but this one came and this is called suck in your stomach and put on and put some color on suck in your stomach and put some color on this is written by Shelley rushing Tomlinson and um, apparently she's the host of All Things Southern. I don't know exactly what that is. It might be a show or a podcast or something. Um, but it's funny that I got this. So this is um, 
it says what southern mamas tell their daughters that the rest of y'all should know too so it's kind of like advice from southern women and i think this is going to be hilarious because I live in New Mexico right now because my husband's military, but my family is from Georgia. So I've probably heard a lot of this stuff growing up. My mom probably still says some of this stuff to me. So I'm actually really excited to read this. I've never heard of this book, but it seems like it's definitely going to be a fun read. So I do not know who sent this to me. There wasn't a gift receipt or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's from the book exchange that I signed up for. So whoever sent it, thank you. And this next one, you guys, oh, my heart is so happy. Okay, so um, this one is definitely a book exchange that I did, and this was one that just me and a big group of, um, I think it was 10 of us all together, we just decided to go ahead and do one ourselves after this other one was going around Facebook. So I thought it'd be fun just to do it um, just among friends. And so the girl who sent me a book told me that something was coming and it was pretty dark and twisted. I was like, ooh, cool. Oh, she sent me The Child Thief by Brom. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I've heard about this book um, a couple of times on BookTube, and it just sounded very interesting and captivating. It's um, a take on Peter Pan, but Peter Pan is not okay. He is kind of an evil person. Um, I'm guessing maybe he steals children, like steals them. Um, the back has this on there. So it's, it's, um, it's a dark and gritty, dark and gritty book. This is not like... Um, a happy-go-lucky fairy tale and I've just heard really really good things about it so I'm really excited this may be an October read for me um, but yeah and it's, oh, it's so big and floppy and oh I love it I love it I do know who sent this to me Jody you're amazing I love you so much and I feel like you get me <laughs> so um, she's when she sent this she was concerned about whether or not I had read it but I haven't read it and it was on my Amazon list list so I got to take it off so I'm super happy about that but yeah oh I'm so excited for this one got some more books okay so this next round here is um I have three books that I purchased myself and then two books that were sent to me for review so for the first one I picked this up at Goodwill um this is The Signature of All Things by Elizabeth Gilbert now I picked this up because I'm interested in reading her fiction. I did not like Eat, Pray, Love, and I've been very vocal about that. I actually hated that book. But I wanted to give this one a shot and see how she writes as a fiction novelist because I like the writing in Eat, Pray, Love. Her writing is great, but I just didn't like the story and I didn't, I don't know, I didn't, yeah. But <laughs> I saw this there at Goodwill, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab it and just kind of see what this is all about. This book actually takes place in the 1800s, so this is kind of a historical fiction book, and it is um, about a girl who is really getting into discovering things about plants and kind of their nature and what they, they're healing and, you know, things like that. And then she ends up falling in love with a man who's more about spirituality and divinity, and so she's kind of drawn between these two things, between fact and, um, like, scientific fact with the plants, and then kind of getting into spiritual stuff, which is harder to pin down and harder to see. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a try and see what I think. This next one I picked up has been on my radar for quite a while now. It just came out in paperback and it is definitely something that's intriguing me. And I've heard really great things about it. And then um, they did a cover change for it and the paperback covers are just completely different and completely gorgeous and I love them so much better. And then it showed up on Amazon for four I think it was $4.34 for the paperback. And I was like, what? Why? And yes, please. I went ahead and picked up Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. Look at this cover, you guys. It's so beautiful. I have discovered that I love the white covers with the design in the middle. I just think they are gorgeous and dreamy and they are impactful. You know, you don't have like other colors really like taking away from it. Oh, I just... I love the white covers. <laughs> I'm a sucker for them. Um, so this is a YA historical fiction about Alexander the Great and it's kind of him as a teenager. So Eleanor Herman is actually a kind of a historical journalist type. That's kind of her job. So um, she knows what she's talking about most definitely. She's done a lot of research into this from what I'm hearing and I'm just really interested to get into it and when I saw this cover I knew I was like okay I have to have it and then when I saw it the price for literally four dollars and 34 cents I was like oh my gosh so I completely jumped on it and um, yeah it's beautiful and I'm so excited to read it. 
All right, so this next book is by an author I have not read yet, but she is on my list of new authors I want to check out this year, uh, new to me authors. And um, she ran a special on her Instagram account. She was advertising that there is a special anniversary edition of one of her books and you could buy a signed copy. So I went ahead and did that. So I got the anniversary edition of Mudvayne by Taryn Fisher. So this is the second anniversary. I guess this has been out for two years now. And they did a, a special edition cover. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, so it's really pretty. <laughs> and I wanted to go ahead and get a copy of it. I Like I said, I have not read her yet, but I've heard really good things. I heard she's very dark and twisted, and I'm really into that. Um, and then she also personalized, signed it to me. So it says, to Sarah, Taryn Fisher. And then she kissed it, you guys. It's so cute. I can't even handle that. It was so cute. Um, so I'm definitely going to be getting to this very, very soon. Okay, so these next two books I got from publishers in exchange for an honest review. So the first one is called The Sixth Idea by PJ Tracy. This is sent to me from Putnam. So PJ Tracy is actually a mother-daughter writing team. And um, this is part of a series, but it's a series that they can be read as standalones. You don't have to read them like in order or anything. So I haven't read anything by them yet. But since you can read them as standalones, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see if maybe I want to get into it. Um, but this is like a detective series. So this one in particular involves a string of crimes that happen in one night over like a winter season in Minneapolis and so they're all connected and then these two detectives are trying to figure out how they're all connected and trying to figure all that stuff out. It's actually pretty short for a crime novel. I was surprised when I got it. It was pretty short but I'm excited to read it and see what I think and maybe find a new series. And this comes out on August 2nd so I will be getting to this very quickly and getting a review done for you. And this next book is another review book also sent to me from Putnam in exchange for a review and that is With Love from the Inside and this is by Angela Pessel. Um, so this one is a contemporary about a mother who is convicted and on death row for killing her infant son and she is very estranged from the rest of her family including her daughter who went through that whole experience with her and she is trying to get a hold of her daughter so that she can tell her the truth and wants all the truth to come out before she is executed and I believe they do reconnect and so her daughter is kind of left trying to figure out exactly what happened because her mother possibly didn't do this. Sounds very, very interesting. This is also blurred by um, Ellen Hildebrand, so if you are a fan of her work, then this might interest you as well. But this comes out on August 9th, so I want to get to this one quickly as well. This one isn't too long either, um, but I'm very excited to read this one. And I have one more book coming. It should be here next week, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait. I can't wait. It's here. So this is my pre-order came today. I'm so excited. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can kind of do this. Who thought this was a good idea? Oh, yay! Oh, I'm so happy. As soon as I found out that this was going to be a book, I immediately pre-ordered it. Like, immediately. So, this isn't actually a book, so this is the confusion with this. A lot of people are thinking that this is like Harry Potter number eight, and it's really not. This is a continuation of the story. This is actually 19 years after the Deathly Hollows. This is following Harry's son, and um, this is written in play form. So it is literally a play. That's how you read it. Um, this is parts one and two. This is the play that's running over in London right now. I'm sure it'll probably make its way over here. But um, yeah, this is a special rehearsal edition script. So that's what this is. A lot of people have been surprised by that and not big fans or not wanting to read it in play form. But if you read Shakespeare, those are plays. So, I mean, I guess it's not for everybody, but I'm excited. I'm super excited. I hope that this will be like a one sitting read for me. I think since it's in play form, it should be really quick because it's um, something that you're supposed to be able to sit down and watch for three hours and be done. So I'm very excited about this and I considered rereading the entire series before getting to this one, but I don't think I can wait. I'm not gonna lie. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna be getting to this one very soon. But yay, I'm so excited! And it's pretty fitting because I have my, um, here, let me see. Let me see if I can show you 
my Harry Potter Georgia shirt on. My Patronus is a dog. So I'm wearing that today. Not even on purpose, that was just an accident. But yay, Harry Potter, so happy. Okay guys, that's it for my July book haul. Those are all the books that I received um, slash pre-ordered in July. My goal was actually not to have a book haul in August because I need to stop. However, Hastings is going out of business and they're liquidating really quickly. It went from like 10% to 40% in like less than two weeks. So I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> I guess I'm going to need to make my way over there soon. I'm waiting until it hits at least 50. Once it hits 50%, I'm probably going to go over there and get a few things. So I will have a book haul sometime in August and it's mostly going to be the Hastings, you know, liquidation type thing. So I'll probably have like a Hastings liquidation haul or something sometime up in the month of August. All right, guys, that's it for me. Please let me know down below if you got any of these books as well. Um, let me know if you read any of them, and I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.